Welcome back, I'm Captain Xavier and I like all things modular. For a while now I have been saying that I have been wanting to build a lighter loadout. My previous loadout, the one that I designed specifically for playing a heavy NPC class in HVZ, uh, proved to be extremely impractical for nerf wars. Um, the armor isn't necessary and it's much heavier and I r discovered I didn't need nearly that much ammunition. Uh, or firepower, honestly, for nerf wars, and being a larger, bigger, slower target was a serious detriment. Uh, things like the shoulder cannon are great for shooting at mobs of zombies, but not good for shooting at individual agile targets like you have in nerf wars. So I've been meaning to build a lighter loadout, and thanks to the YouTube monies, I finally had the means to do so, and this is almost it. I'm missing... Two more parts, but uh, they are identical to some other parts, so I figured I'd go ahead and show this because I'm planning to run this in the war this weekend, the second Fort Borst War, the Borstening. So I thought I would go over my new light loadout, starting with the uh, tactical vest and whatnot. So uh, instead of having a full heavy plate carrier like my previous one, which I believe is a Condor Defender, I have this much lighter plate carrier that I got on eBay, I believe, and unlike my previous plate carrier, which closes up on the side, this one unzips down the front and is thus much easier to get into. It is actually technically a plate carrier. It does have pouches if you wanted to put light plates in it, um, soft plates uh, for, you know, pistol caliber. It would not really hold up well to putting metal plates in, I don't think, because I don't think it's strong enough for that and I don't think it's designed for that, but I don't plan to run plates in it anyway. So, I like that it opens up the front, makes it much easier to get in and out of. I also like that it has the integrated belt loops that allow you to attach the belt directly to the vest, uh, which makes it just, once again, that much easier to put it on because it all just goes on, you click up all the, zip it up, click up all the buckles, and you're good to go. Uh, very, very nice. I also have... Uh, single mag pouches. I finally found a source for a single mag pouch that perfectly fits a Nerf magazine. Uh, I do plan to get two more of these. The first site that I ordered them from only had two, so I found another site that had them and ordered two more. Hopefully they're identical. They sure looked like they were. Um, so there'll be another set uh, um, on either side of them. And uh, the, the front ones can hold either 18 round magazines. The side ones will need to be probably 12s because otherwise I'm going to be digging into my armpits which is just going to be uncomfortable. Though what I will probably run on the smaller ones are small pistols because I discovered there are a number of Nerf blasters that fit in these holsters very well. The uh, Stormfire or the Clear Shot uh, fit well as long as you have the two dart storage removed they will then fit. Um, the Pink Crush also fits quite beautifully as well as the newer one that has the light on it that also fits well. Those are the ones that fit the best. They will unfortunately not fit any of the shotgun, uh, the newer shotgun pistols. It won't fit any of the Busby, the uh, either the Barons that I've built or the new Wizards. They also won't fit in these. They're just a little bit too big. Uh, but the um, Double Down will fit. It's a little bit looser than this is, um, but it will fit. I will probably actually build myself a pair of Pink Crushes uh, in my colors to go in this loadout because they fit beautifully. They actually kind of snugly lock in there and I plan to run them on the two side ones so I'll have a pair of pistols that I can pull out. I also then have a flashlight pouch just for finding darts in the dark. Uh, somebody sent me these flashlights in fan mail which are awesome and I've got them batteried up and had a pouch so I went ahead and put that in there. I then have a drop pouch or a, a drop holster, leg holster and it is a universal holster. It is Velcro, so you can put whatever blaster you want in there and then tighten up the Velcro, and it'll work, which I think is pretty darn cool. You can go all the way, you know, these ones fit, um, hammer shots fit, strong arms fit. You can go all the way up to uh, my rough cut, the rough cut that I uh, made rear prime. Uh, if you have the front slide, then it gets caught in here and it doesn't fit, but the one that's rear prime fits quite nicely. So I am well pleased with these holsters as they will, um, because they're very modular. I was gonna considering having one on either leg, but I decided that was going a little bit silly. Uh, also, they're not terribly reversible. They're pretty much just 
for the right leg. Um, so I have two of them, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the other one. I may try to make it into a, um, a shoulder rig, under shoulder rig, uh, or something along those lines. I'll come up with some use for it, I'm sure. And it also, of course, has a dump pouch. I got a new dump pouch. This one actually has molly on it, though I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. The one downside to this drop pouch is the belt loops were a little bit too small for this thick belt. They're clearly designed either to go into molly loops or to go on a standard sized belt. Um, the reason I didn't put them into the loops on the vest is that I ended up having it too high and it was uncomfortable to actually try to dump stuff into it. So that's why I put it there. And the last feature that this one has um, is my uh, back holster. Uh, I took this off of the what used to be on my battle pack, my combat pack. It will, of course, hold a sledge fire, a rough cut, the X-Shot Eliminator, an XBZ, any all sorts of blasters. It'll actually hold an Alpha Trooper as long as it doesn't have a magazine in it, so very useful backpack holster. I need to make another one of those at some point, but... And then finally, of course, I've got my sling point for any of my primaries. They all have the same um, clip. They just lock in, same as on my, my heavy gear, so there you have it. That is my new light loadout. Um, I will be doing a few more of these, going over some of my new equipment that I've built specifically for Nerf Wars, since I'm finally getting into that, so stay tuned. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, suggestions, go ahead and put them in the comment section below, and thank you for watching. Uh -huh.